Hey there, YouTube land. <clears throat> Hope you're all doing good today. I am standing in Hoboken, New Jersey, right across the river from New York City there. As you can see, that is New York City. And we're gonna visit a few places there. We're gonna see where the first baseball game was played, Frank Sinatra statue, his birthplace, and a now defunct club called Maxwell's. And um, I'll explain that when I get there. All right, so let's go on this journey together and um, we will uh, have fun. I've never done this before, so this will be new for all of us. All right, here we go. All right, guys, I found it. I'm walking right up to it right now. Oh, this is cool. Here we go. There it is right there, you guys. Francis Albert Sinatra, The Voice, not the TV show, obviously. Born here at 415 Monroe Street, December 12th, 1915. I think they should have left the, uh, the original building here and made a museum out of it. I don't know why they didn't. That's crazy they didn't. Let me back up a little bit here. This is pretty cool. Wow. Music history was born right here. Who would have ever thought? I remember the first time I heard his voice. I was watching Married with Children in 1987 or 88, one of those years. And uh, <laughs> that's when I, I thought it was just a TV theme song show. I mean, I, I didn't know it was an actual song that was written like 40 years before that or 30 years before that. That is pretty cool. I'm gonna head across the street now and get a shot of the real building here. So that's it, right there, that's the new building. Oh, they should have left the old building, but this real estate is so unbelievably high. That's why they didn't leave the old uh, building. That is prime, prime real estate right there. Yeah, guys, he was a pretty interesting guy, I swear. I went to his um, gravesite out in Palm Springs, California back in 2011. I didn't vlog it. I wasn't vlogging then, but um, that's pretty interesting. This is the best is yet to come. Apparently, that was his favorite song to sing. Oh, yeah, so just walking around the streets of Hoboken here. All right, guys, on to our next location here. So this is where he was baptized, uh, where Frank Sinatra was baptized. Up too high. It's called St. Uh, ironically, it's called St. Francis Church where Francis Albert Sinatra was baptized. How cool is that? I wonder if I can go in there. I'm going to go pull on the door right now and let's, right, let's, I'm going to keep the camera rolling and see if I can get in there. Let's see here. I know what's coming. Let's see what we got here. Fingers crossed, guys. Fingers crossed. Oh, I, I know it's not open. It's locked. I can tell. Yeah, okay. Well, this is interesting right here, you guys. First waffle cone in 1904. Check this out. And I'm going to get to the bottom here. I'm going to let you all read this part here. You can pause it and read it. While exhibiting at the St. Louis World's Fair, Hoboken, I marched here on an ice cream wafer company owner, Italio Marcioni, invented the waffle cone when he ran out of wafers and improvised by using the waffles of a neighboring exhibitor. Well, that's pretty cool. You do learn something new every day, don't you? Who would have ever thought? First ever waffle cone. And we're going to go to another first here in one second. Here we go. Okay, so from the first waffle cone, see that home plate right there? Let me show you something here. This is pretty darn cool. On June 19, 1846, the first match game of baseball was played right here on the Elysian Fields, hope I said that right, between the Knickerbockers and the New Yorkers, the New Yorks. It is generally conceded that until this time, the game was not seriously regarded. So basically the first baseball game 
was played right at the spot here. I am getting some serious Field of Dreams vibes right here. You know, again, they should have kept the field, but hey, prime real estate, just like Sinatra's birthplace. So we went from some serious musical history, some serious sports history, all on the same day. And ice cream history too, the first waffle cone. This is pretty cool. That is a giant home plate right there, wow. I don't think the original home plate was this big, obviously not. That's pretty cool they put this here. First baseball game was played right at the spot, right over here. That is pretty darn cool. All right, see that building over there, Siren, Sirenetta? I hope I said that right. Cocktail Seafood Raw Bar. Well, that used to be a nightclub called Maxwell's. And Maxwell's had some really good music history over there, I'll tell you. I'm gonna walk over there and I'm gonna talk while I walk. Hope I don't trip, I won't think I will. But anyway, um, <clears throat> hosted a lot of bands over there, you guys, a lot of them. In uh, early 80s, a band from uh, Athens, Georgia stopped by there by the name of R.E.M., place only hold, held about 200 people. And uh, then about I don't know, end 80s, 1989. Another band played there, a band by the name of Nirvana from Aberdeen, Washington played there. Let's walk over here. And uh, on October 28th, 1994, <clears throat> band stopped by here from Manchester, England called Oasis. They played here too. So, um, the reason why it closed was there was a noise ordinance and the people here who lived all around this area just complained about the noise. Um, the place is completely gutted, made it to a nice fancy seafood restaurant. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, the, uh, the noise ordinance, I mean, I'm sure Oasis didn't help. They played here during their first record. Nirvana played here pre-Dave Grohl. Um, I know when Oasis played here, they were really, really a loud band in their early days, I'm telling you. <clears throat> a friend of mine went to their show two nights before in Washington, D.C., and he said it was so loud he had to take off school a couple, for a couple days because he was, he, he was nauseous, it was so loud. And uh, if you ever saw their, uh, their documentary called Supersonic, Mark Coyley, their sound engineer, their sound guy, I think he would, that was his proper title, his sound engineer, had to quit because his doctor said you were gonna go deaf if you keep <clears throat> if you keep uh keep it up with no earplugs, so he had to quit. So here was Maxwell's it closed, I think, and Okay, so according to Wikipedia, it closed on July thirty first, two thousand thirteen, it reopened in twenty fourteen, and then closed again in twenty eighteen. So that is uh one of the other uh it, was, it reopened as Maxwell's Tavern. I don't think it lasted. I think one of the band, the other bands that played here that was local was My Chemical Romance. Smashing Pumpkins played here. Weezer played here. Um, so yeah, if you were if you were in this area and you're a band of the '80s or the '90s, yeah, you played here at Maxwell's, but no longer here. Too bad. I think I heard a couple more. If these walls could talk, that would be something else. So. Anyhow, there it is. So here it is, guys. Here it is right here. All right, there was people standing in front of us, so I didn't want to get in the way, but this is it, guys. Lighting isn't the best because the sun is right above us. If it was behind us, it'd be better. Oh, this is cool. Oh, this is so cool. Oh, that's awesome. That light lights up too. 
That is freaking cool. New York City behind it. Oh, that's awesome. So I can't play it because I would get a copyright strike, but I want you all to mute your mute this right now and start playing New York, New York by him. Smack dab right next to it is an Italian eatery called Blue Eyes. How appropriate. I already ate lunch, but if I hadn't eaten lunch, I would have gone here. All right, you guys, that's going to do it for me today. Um, yeah, that's New York City behind me. Um, hope you enjoyed this vlog. I know it was kind of all over the place. Um, you know, I went to, there was, to his birthplace and I didn't even know about his baptismal um, place at the church, which was like two blocks away from there. So I did that and um, didn't even know about the first snow cone, uh, the first waffle cone, I meant to say, not snow cone. Um, and uh, first baseball first baseball game in Maxwell's and the statue here. So it's it's been a pretty good day so far, I must say. So I hope you all enjoy this vlog. If you like it, give it a big thumbs up, comment on it. Question of the day, what's your favorite Frank Sinatra song? Mine is That's Life. But I also like Love and Marriage because Married with Children was a funny, funny show even though it would never be made today. That's beside the point. And uh, going to an old Maxwell spot, that was pretty cool too. So anyway, guys, give it a big thumbs up. Again, comment what's your favorite Sinatra song. And um, hope you see in the next video, whenever that will be. All right, guys, have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video. All right, bye-bye. Start spreading the news I'm leaving today